You know the difference between the Luke Skywalker reveal versus the Ahsoka Tano name drop? Really not much. I get the same chills when I think of both moments. <laughs> Episode 7, I'm watching and I'm in the theater. I see Sluke on hood. It's him. He turns around. Ooh, I gotta wait a whole two years to see what he's about. But he's gonna be awesome. That same feeling was achieved when Bo-Katan said Ahsoka's name. I said, ooh, I know who that character is. And the difference now, hindsight being what it is, I know Ahsoka Tano is going to be treated right. When the Mandal Din Djarin presents her with this foundling, the baby, she's not going to do the equivalent of taking that and throwing it over her shoulder and say, no, I don't need that. I know she's going to be a hero here. She will be epic, lightsabers up, hopefully with two. I hope they're both white. I know she's going to be sick and she's going to be responsibly taken care of because Filoni is there, someone knowledgeable, not a producer who is not knowledgeable and doesn't care and has some sort of other agenda that's going to ruin my Star Wars. I have confidence in this. I am very pleased even though I raised my voice and it looks like I'm angry right now. I'm not. That's the difference between sequel and Mandalorian. This is a part one of this long series <laughs> that'll be happening here on chill monger subscribe because i will be talking about the mandalorian episode four of season two in a few hours i would say tonight but it's a global audience and there's multiple time zones so all 638 of you can catch it in a few hours